All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to do a really cool linear algebra problem that a student of mine suggested. And it was on some kind of Putnam exam. I don't know which one, but uh, it's still really cool. More precisely, let's find the determinant of the following matrix. The determinant whose entries are minimum of i and j. Here's what I mean by that. And let's illustrate this with the five by five scenario. So we wanna find the determinant of a five by five matrix. And for each entry, you look at which uh, row it is and which column it is, and you take the minimum of the two numbers. For instance, the first entry is in the one comma one uh, uh, entry. So you take the minimum of one and one, which is one. This one, first row, second column, one is still smaller than two. First row, third column, so one, one comma four, so one, and then one. Now moving on, uh, two comma one, one is still smaller, two comma two, two comma three, so two is still smaller, and two and two, and then one, two, three, uh, three, three, one, two, three, four, four, and one, two, three, four, five. And so the way to not evaluate this determinant is by using cofactor expansion, because that is very crazy and that is very hard in the general case. Instead, what we would like to do is to use um, either row reduction or column reduction. Here, uh, just to mimic the van der Moen determinant, let's do a column reduction, what I think doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's subtract the last column, so the next to last column from the last column. So let's do minus one times this, and then you get the following determinant. So we still have one, 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 uh, one, two, two, one, two, 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 uh, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three four, four, and then let's see, one minus one, zero, two minus two, zero, 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 and four minus five, one. Awesome, look, we can already uh, bomberman this. Pew, pew, pew. And then we're just left with the determinant of one, 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 two, 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 uh, one, two, three, three, and then one, two, three, four. And sure, you could just use induction and say the determinant is one, but since we're having fun, uh, let's just do this again. Okay, and then you get, uh, da, da, da. let's say again, one, 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 two, 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 uh, one, two, three, three, and then zero, 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 one, Again, expand it out, pew, pew. And then you get one, 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 two, two, uh, one, two, three. And again, you do the last row trick again, and then you get one, 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 two. And then you can just evaluate this to get two minus one, which is one, right? So that is for the um, five by five case. And of course you can see for the n by n case, it's the same. So in this case, the answer is one. And of course, this raises a question, what about the maximum? And this is slightly more interesting. So now let's find the determinant of the maximum of i and j. And again, I'll illustrate it with the five by five case. In general, it's similar. So let's see, here we have one comma one, so one, one comma two, that's two, and then three, four, five, two comma one, that's two, and then two, and then three, four, five, and then three, 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 four, five, four, 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 five, and then five, 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 five. Very good. And in this case, so again, let's do, use column reductions. So to get rid, to subtract this column from this column, you multiply, I believe, by negative, um, let's see, uh, negative five-fourths. 
And then you get the following. So let's see, still one, 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 two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, and then three, three, four, wait, so three, 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 four, five. Sounds like telephone numbers. Um, four, five, and then let's see, oh, it's still like four, 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 five, all right, and then if you do minus five fourth, you get zero, 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 and then let's see, five times minus five fourths plus four, plus five, that is, let's see, minus 25 fourths plus five, which is 20 fourths, again, may the fourths be with you, and we end up getting uh, five fourths, except negative five fourths. That's what it is. Sounds like there has to be a negative. All right, which is still very good. You can, you know, expand this out, pew pew, and then you get negative five fourths times a similar determinant time. So you end up getting, again, the following determinant. Let me again double check. Uh, one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, 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 four. And then four, 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 four. Okay. And then what you want to do, you want to multiply this, in this case, by minus four thirds. And then what you end up getting is the following minus five fourths times, okay. So one, two, three, two, two, three, 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 four, four, four. And then let's see, well, minus three times minus four thirds, that becomes plus four, that is zero, zero, zero. And then you have to do the same spiel. So um, four times minus four thirds, and then plus four, that is minus 16 thirds plus four. And so that's minus 16 plus 12 over three. And that is minus four thirds. So again, you see the pattern. So before you multiplied by minus five fourths, and now you, multi you get this minus four thirds, okay. which again, you can just uh, row reduce. I mean, we can expand it out and you're left with minus five fourths and then minus four thirds times the determinant of one, two, three, two, two, three, and then three, three, three. All right, and let's do it again one more time. And then yeah, again, you can always fast forward if you want. So multiply this, I believe, by minus times minus uh, three halves. And then again, if you want to do it, so you end up getting uh, minus five fourths minus four thirds, minus three halves, times I believe the remaining determinant, uh, one, two, uh, two, 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 and you get, this becomes two, this determinant is two minus four, which is minus two. So in the end, so in the end, you get minus five fourths times minus four thirds times minus three halves, and then this determinant, so two minus four, that is minus two, which is really minus two over one. And here comes the awesome part. All those things, they cancel out. And you're left with, okay, one, two, three, four minuses, so plus five. Which, uh, you know, raises the question, how do you do this for a more general n by n matrix? Well, this was for a five by five matrix. And this five is the same as this five here. And how did we get the plus? Notice we did four sign switches. So five minus one, which is four. So in general, this tells you, well, the general answer should be, so minus one to the number of switches. So minus one to the n minus one, and then times n. So that is in general. So the interesting thing is for the minimum, the answer is always one. For the maximum is minus one to the n minus one times n. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.